Now, China's agricultural investments in Africa stand at nearly $1.77 billion, leading to the creation of 30,000 jobs. What does China gain from such a huge investment? Well, Sally, thanks for having me again. It's a pleasure being here. I think, first of all, it's uh, part of the relationship between China and its African partners. One is for the Chinese economy, China has been expanding in terms of uh, its uh, per capita income and the palette of Chinese citizens continues to expand. And so having access to food sources from other parts of the world, including Africa, makes sense. So the investment there is that there can be a two-way trade that benefits the Chinese population as much as it benefits uh, African partners themselves. So that's, that's part of the benefits that accrue to China. And is that trade a way of also securing food security in China as well, considering they're facing some of the similar challenges? Absolutely. Well, with, with, without question. I think uh, part of it is a, is a combination of many things. So one is, yes, you have these the, the impact of the environment here in China. You have a large economy that needs to continue to feed itself. And so part of that is as Africans can expand their the yield and the quality of the agricultural products, providing for food security in Africa, but also providing for an opportunity for exports to China. Because you've seen that since uh, for the last few years, the Chinese-Africa trade in agricultural products have continued to expand from Kenyan avocados to South African soy. China has continued to open up its markets to African products. So it supports China in its development of uh, food security, but also it helps to maintain or, or develop Africa's self-sufficiency. Talk to us a little bit about some of the technologies and agricultural modernization that's going to be used to help boost uh, you know, Africa's uh, utilization of its agriculture. So at the meetings, the attention focused largely on, on, on cassava, more than 200 million people in Africa depend on cassava, but in Africa grows the largest amount of cassava, but yields are really low. Yields in Africa per hectare are between 8 to 11, whereas in other parts of the world you can get up to 40. Now, there are demonstration plants, for example, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Chinese demonstration plant center that has shown to yield, bring yield up to 50%. So one of the places that we're going to see, according to these last meetings, is that Chinese technology ch improvement in the, the, the cultivars, the kind of seeds that we're using to grow the cassava, um, better varieties, be better breed, that China is going to spread those across Africa. The hope is that 500,000 hectares of African land will see the high quality yield and breed in cassava. And that itself will amply improve food security on the continent where, like I said, over 200 million people depend on the crop cassava. So that's one of the places where you're going to see Chinese technology and Chinese science investment in, in, in African agriculture. And the Belt and Road Initiative has supported these projects. Tell us more about how it has done so. Well, part of it is, uh, so for example, at the last BRICS summit in South Africa, African partners approached the Chinese government and said that they wanted to see a parallel path beyond um, just investment in infrastructure, they wanted a path to industrialization. So all of the investment that the Belt and Road Initiative or through FOCAC has done in investment in infrastructure, the idea is to leverage that so that as we're investing in agriculture and adding value to agriculture, there is a confluence here where the infrastructure that was built through the Belt and Road Initiative supports the investment on the private side, especially in agriculture. So like I, you know, as the Chinese always say, it's mutually beneficial or like the Chinese you say win-win for both the African side and their Chinese partner. Okay, we appreciate your time. Jude, more for us there. Thank you.